Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to determine the exercise value of a warrant. LM Corporation has warrants outstanding that gives the holder the right to purchase one share of stock per warrant. This is an, at an exercise price of $18. The current market price of LM Corporation stocks is $15. The question is, what's the warrants holder profit or loss if the stock price is, first of all, 17 case 2, 20 and finally, case 3, $25. To solve this problem and to understand more the exercise value of warrant, let's see this graph. This graph represents the evolution of the market price per share over time. The straight blue line represents the strike price, also called the exercise price. This represents the price at which the warrant holder can buy the stock. As you can see, it is a straight line, so it is always and it remains constant over time and it is in this exercise equal to $18. The forecasts of the market price of LM corporations show an increase in market price over time. It is currently equal to $15. As you can see, it is less than the strike price. Usually corporations set the, the strike price as 20 or 30% higher than the market price. So this is a general rule. Let's see what happens to the exercise value when we have the first case, market price is equal to $17. So in, we are in this case. Here we have the market price equal to $17. However, the strike price is equal to $18. As you can see here in the graph, the market price is lower than the strike price. So a rational investor would not pay $18 for a stock that is worth $17. So in this case, the investor will not exercise the warrant. Let's move to the second case where the market price is equal now to $20. So we are here. As you can see in the graph, $20 is higher than the $18. So in this case, the exercise value, which is equal to the market price minus the strike price, it's equal to 20 minus the $18. In this case, the exercise value will be equal to $2. So the warrant holder will exercise the warrant. And finally, the case number three, where the market price is equal to $25. So we are in here. In this case, the market price is higher than the strike price and the exercise value will be equal to 25 minus 18, it's equal to $7. So of course, the warrant holder will exercise his warrant. So as you can see, whenever the strike price or the strike price line is higher, is above the market price line. In this case, the warrant holder will not exercise because he will realize a loss. However, when the market price is above the strike price, the warrant holder will exercise and he would realize a profit. And it's here in this point where the market price is equal to the strike price, the investor or the warrant holder is indifferent between exercising the, the warrant or not.